Evening. It's George Heller, West 80 South Pole Farm. We're just doing a little move here. I've uh, been kind of laying them in here to uh, keep the, all the little ones up closer so that they don't uh, they don't try to uh, run back the other way when they see the rest of them. See, we got one calf running up here. That's what I'm trying to avoid is them wanting to go through the fence after we get them up here. So I just am in running the poly braid out here on the geared reel and give them a little lane to come into before we let them into the paddock. We got the paddock here. We got Paige here. Hey Paige. Hi. Oh, there they go. Oh, okay. Now they can come in. Yeah. Paige, you want to roll this reel up for me? So now we got them all laned up and we're now we're gonna let them in now we don't have to worry about everybody lagging behind and uh, not coming in here so sheep 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 so yeah but uh, we just got a little shot of rain today this morning and this afternoon and pretty meager part of the pasture here but we're still running through it we're gonna put down some fertility and eat what little grass there is here and then uh, keep moving them on to a better part of the pasture I can show you here what what we're working with for the ground here here that's what we got that's That's our that's our soil up here. So yeah, here's the gopher mound. It dries out really fast, but we've just been tipping it and trying to keep the grass growing and trying not to let it get dried out. And it's been uh, working pretty well. Hey, Chad. lambs are growing pretty well we're gonna sort ram lambs off in the next week here it's getting to be they're getting to be that age where we don't want them breeding the other ones so we're gonna get them sorted out and then we're gonna put our bull in and next week the first of August on Monday so probably maybe this weekend he'll go in no, I haven't decided for sure. It depends on how things go and what we get done. But following these two South Pole bull calves here, they're, they're both starting to look pretty nice. We got a lot of these big old thistles here. I'm not sure how I'm going to manage them exactly just yet. I got to do some brainstorming on that. Maybe feed hay and like a whole bunch on top of them. I don't know. I've heard that works. Neil Dennis said that he got rid of thistle patches doing that. Doing his deep, deep massage. Yeah. Jersey cow there. She's got a nice little heifer, half south pole heifer calf on her. Oh, yeah. but they're all, all looking pretty good. It's uh, July, what is it, the 20? Third, I think. 23rd or 24th. Can't remember. But we're 
Moving along, we're on our third rotation here. We're closing in on number four. We're gonna head up that direction, up to, there's a fence line up there. You probably can't see it. Fence line up there, just on this side of that shed. And then uh, once we get to that fence line, then we'll move them on that side of the shed on the other side of the fence and go up to the north end of the property line and head that way all the way over and then bring them back and start them back over here again where we started this spring. But yeah, it's going pretty good. We got not sure what kind of grass this is, but we've got a bunch of big blue stem coming up. That's that right there. Whole bunch of that coming up. It's been really thick in here. It's a real nice patch right here. This bull calf is taking advantage of. He's a pretty good looking little guy. I don't really like the camera too much though. But he's, he's filling out. And that's the. Um, yeah, that's a half South Pole bull calf, half Jersey. And then, yeah, there's the half South Pole heifer, half Jersey heifer. And here's this other South Pole bull calf. He's out of my bowl, I believe. I'm counting back from when he was born, I think. But my, my bull is the sire. And we got this nice pair here. It's a little heifer. Her mom, she, I think she's going to calve in the fall. She's a fall calver. I don't know if she's bred back yet or not, so we'll see. See what happens. There's my. It's a nice, real nice yearling heifer right there. She's beautiful. You're not supposed to have favorites, but if I had to pick one, I don't know. It's what, it'd be pretty hard not to pick her. She's just, you know, don't get much better than that. A nice belly on her, nice butt, small frame, efficient. Slick, oily, toned. Yep, she looks good. I like her. Oh, here's this little guy. Now we need to get a good look at him. Oh, he's gonna run away. But yeah, no, just out here moving them. We gotta go move the water. We got pressurized water now. We got it right along the fence line here. Gets a little warm in the sun. The grass has got to grow up to cover it up a little more, but we got that running nearly all the way down to the end of the pasture, and then it goes all the way up to that gray shed up there where the well is. There's a bunch of reeds canary over there that they grazed a while back, and they're gonna hit that in about a month here, a few weeks. But yeah. They're looking good. Here's that heifer's mom right here. This is where she, she gets her good books. She's pretty nice too. And there's her baby boy there. Baby boy. Yeah. So, well, that I'm gonna get out of here and y'all have a good day.